See a better place in the olden days when my journey first begun. But the storylines, the better times, took me back to the core. This is all you know. Imagine me there while you are here. I'm thinking of you. And distance is nothing. I'll go through the whole world to be with you. We go before anybody says no mic i've sorted the mic out <laughs> hello welcome along everybody how are you all doing i hope you've uh, i hope you're all having a good weekend i hope you've had a, a good start um we are we're gonna see if the game audio works in a minute but it's all good um how are we here on youtube land 
I hope you it's, it's been it's been two weeks since I've been able to get a stream up on uh on YouTube. Twitch it was only a week ish. Um that was off, but it's it was two uh it was two weeks. So uh yeah. Let's uh let's see who's in here, shall we? And uh and coming in. Uh we've got uh, Mr. Gaming, welcome along. Uh, George Godbold, welcome along. FB Farming, welcome along. Farms and Freak, welcome along. Uh, Lupin Salrao, welcome along. Uh, Robin Lindbergh, welcome along. Um, Sironin, welcome along. Rocket Kid, welcome along. Haskali97, welcome along. Uh, Carl Button, welcome along. Mr. Gaming, welcome along. Farming for the Nation, welcome along. Uh, Marnie, welcome along. Uh, Hoya73, Thompson, welcome along. Uh, Liam7710, welcome along. Just Jason, welcome along. Daniel Hughes, welcome along. Uh, yeah, smooth as butter, honey. I knew the mic wasn't going to work. Because last night's stream on, on, on Twitch, it didn't work straight out of the box. Um, because uh, Logitech had updated. So, uh, yeah, I was fully expecting that not to work this evening. How the meeting go with my uni mates? I had a great time. Thank you, Farming for the Nation. Yeah, we had a lovely meal and uh, I'm feeling very full. I got home about half an hour ago and my very lovely wife is putting the kids to bed um, so that I could get here and get streaming for you guys, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm doing well, thank you, FB Farming. Uh, Madeline Haynes, welcome along. VOA, I have no idea what VOA means. Um, uh, Unisolin, welcome along and welcome to you from Oklahoma. Um, Vulcan Gaming, welcome along. You just had your Christmas dinner today. Ooh, nice, Mystic. I am very full of Christmas burger right now. <laughs> I did. I had I had the most ridiculous burger. It had it had um uh breaded camembert in it. It had uh, uh, uh oh god, it had um uh Christmas sauce, red currant sauce in it. Uh, it's yeah. It's it's insane. It's mad. Uh, Ellen Gratt. Oh sorry, I got my hair stuck over my ears and it's annoying my yeah there we go it's tickling the inside of my ears i never seen Earl grad in fs22 i i love doing Earl grad in fs22 it, it this map looks amazing in fs22 so uh yeah it's uh good uh thumb free welcome along hope you're doing well uh do i have a family yes i have uh i have twins so uh a boy and a girl um, so, uh, yeah. Right, hello, Mondo Schwan. Welcome along. Shall we crack on with some farming? Because I do tend to ramble a little bit these days. And, uh, and we should probably do some farming. So, let's switch over to here. Switch into here. And I think we moved across to the next morning. We did. It is November here in, uh, in the lower section of the Alps. And what do we have to do? Now, we may skip through winter a little bit. I think our cows, it'll help us produce a little bit of... Right, what have we got? I don't know. I don't want to look at them there. I want to look at them in here. Uh, what have we got? So, uh, we've got some brown Swiss and some Holstein. Uh, they could do with some more feed. We've got no... I don't understand why... The productivity is zero. They've got water. They've got milk. Uh, they got water. They've got food. But they're not really producing. Uh, they're not really very healthy. Right. Uh, we want neither of those two. Yeah, this is the one we want. This is our. This is our second hand Massey that we bought. Pull the lights on it. Uh, absolutely cracking piece of kit. Uh, we went a fair amount into debt to get this tractor. Uh, this and the Deutz. Uh, I actually don't think we went that much into debt, did we? Where did we end up? Oh, no, we only went 30,000 into debt to get two 200 horsepower tractors. It was a little bit ridiculous, actually. I think it has to be a hundred percent. Yeah, so we'll we'll do that first off today. We'll uh, we'll 
do this with the Massey. And feed them that. What I think we'll do is we might just go through a few days and uh, and get that all done. Now, that should sort out the feed. Yeah, there we go. So that will feed them for a while. That will put the hay through. Um, and we'll sort out the water as well. And we'll use a different tractor for the water. Uh, the maps you do live streams on, do I play them off screen? And do you play all screen? Pretty much everything I do farm sim is on screen. So I'm running three maps at the moment. On, uh, on, twi uh, on Twitch, we're doing... Um, uh, we're doing uh, Elm Creek. Uh, on YouTube live streams, we're doing Erlengrat. So we're, we're doing this. Uh, and then YouTube Let's Play at the moment, we're doing um, uh, Haute, Haute Belleron with a... Uh, doing a Start From Scratch series on that. Love when the animals run towards the trough. <laughs> Alright. Let's hook this up. Oh, I've not got... Right, this is going to crash me out, but we've not got manual attach on here because manual attach has been released since I last came on. So, uh, yeah, we need to quit. It's going to throw me right out the game because I have a script mod, um, which will be fixed in the next update, which is not too far away. And then, uh, yeah. Right, quit. It's going to crash out. Watch this. Bye bye. Um, but we need manual attach. I can't. I, I activated a load of other mods and I didn't activate manual attach. I'm looking forward to the patch coming and fixing that. Right, let's try this again. Erling Grat, continue. Right, where's manual attach? I thought I turned it on. I haven't. There we go. Oh. Been playing Elegrat since FS22 came out, but just found out there are collectibles on it. Yeah, there are collectibles on all the base game maps in FS22. Uh, I'm really hoping uh, that modders are going to embrace this as well. And um, we're going to get collectibles on other maps, on mod maps, because that would be brilliant. I mean, I'm not massively looking for the collectibles, um, but uh, yeah, I would, I would very much like to have uh, collectibles on mod maps i think i think they're pretty cool things to have will manual attach be on console no it's a scripting mod it's a script mod so it can't be All right connect that connect that there we go that's better and this is what our little electric tractor is useful for around this yard uh we need some water so let's fill this up. Now we might get to plowing this field up here today. Because this, this actually would make a decent arable field for us mostly. Uh, the other thing I considered putting into here actually. Or maybe a couple of arable fields with some grass around them. That might be a better way to go. Yeah, I might create a couple of arable fields. I think the reward for the ground is more sensible. I don't... Do you know what? I don't know what the actual uh, rewards are. Yeah, water from this costs me. Right, water goes in over here. So I think, I think we might create a couple of smaller fields, maybe. There we go. Had my boost yesterday, I feel terrible today, but at least you're gonna be safe, yes. It's a minor inconvenience for, um, rivers are free. Yeah, I don't know where my nearest river is uh, here on Erlingrad. I suppose it's down by the road, isn't it? Yeah, in fact, I can see it on the map at the moment, having said that. Can I turn seasons off in this game? Yes, Mystic Gaming. Um, 
Uh, you can turn seasonal growth off and you can set it to a single month if you want. So that is in the game settings um, under seasons. Uh, you can turn off seasonal growth so you can go no. Um, and you can change it to a particular fixed visible month. So if you want, you can go to August and, uh, and leave it at that. Um, but we are not going to. We are going to turn that off and leave that on. Yep. When I'm going to start the survive, uh, so um, uh, do you mean the realism experiment, uh, Mixk? Uh, realism experiment will start when a, uh, a decent. Where is that? Tri oh, <gasps> really? That's cool. I can overload water from this trailer into the other one. That's actually pretty wicked. I like that. Um, but yeah, that's our milk trailer. When we get 8,000 litres of milk, we'll fill that up. Hello, Mr. Enzo Cat, and welcome along. Uh, right, animals. How much milk do we have? We got three. Oh, we got nearly 4,000 litres, so we've got nearly half a trailer. Which is pretty good. Right, so park this up. And then we're going to get the doits out. And look at doing some field work, I think. So the tank has continued to fill up even after they had detached from tractors. Oh. Yeah, I think they did that in FS. But there's our plow. Uh, they did that in FS uh, 19 as well. Hello, Chicken Pie. Welcome along. Harold Boy. Uh, welcome along. Be good. Let back into Twitch. Yeah. You are on probation, Enzo. And, uh, and yeah. The Porsche is too small. The Porsche is nice, but it's... Uh, uh, yes, you can. He fails outside. The cars come very quickly around the corners. So I'm going to use the flatter parts of these fields to create a couple of arable fields, I think, on this farm. So we're going to create one up the top here. And we're going to create one uh, down the bottom. Uh, so I want to create it with a, a good shape to it. So... Oh, before it gets too, uh, before it gets too thin, really. So the thin part is this bit through here. Yeah, is this bit through here? So we are going to create our field across from this corner there, I think, and do one up here. If I'm right, we should have... Yeah, we do have field here already, so that's good. Carmsden should be here soon. Yeah, Carmsden, I, I, my feeling is Carmsden will get submitted before Christmas. I am not convinced Carmsden will be available before Christmas. And my reasoning behind that is there are 800 mods that need testing um, <laughs> before Carmsden would get tested, basically. Right. So, based on this, I want to create fields and we want to create field and expand this a little bit down here. to here. And then I'm just going to take this corner out as well. Like so. Perfect. So that is a pretty good field there, I think. Going across there.
Maps go. Oh, and it's going to be amazing, Carmson. I'm really looking forward to it. Oxy has been doing some amazing work with that. Have I got. I have not done any forestry in FS22 uh, yet. No. I'm waiting. What I'm waiting with forestry is to do a. Um, is to get a really nice forestry map and then bring Forestry Friday back. Uh, I really want to do Forestry Friday again. Oh, there's a tree. Ah, uh, you come. Remove that silage bunker. Oh, did you? Uh, and when mods get finished testing, they should get published over the weekend. Um, it depends. I mean, there's nobody in the offices at the weekend, so that makes it a little bit difficult to do that. Right, we're on a nice gradual turn around the corner. So I'm marking out the edge of the, the field at the moment that I want to create. Hello, Jack Bloom. Welcome along. Then come up to here. Right, that's so. And then we could mark out this corner here. It was bugged for you. Uh, last message. Hello, Gamer UK. Welcome along. Uh, how long have we waited? We'll see, Enzo. If I say how long, then, you know, that doesn't really work. Funny bug with forestry for you. Can't move when I equip the chainsaw. Doesn't happen on a new save. Only when I've saved and reloaded. That's a weird one. Slowly round with the plow. Like that. There. And up to here. Just going to take that round and square it off. Perfect. I've got FS22, but you'll be getting the game after Christmas. Nice. Right. I am going to and come along here like this. We should be able now to nicely clear this field. And it's not the greatest shape because we've got this little kink in this corner. But it should work. Hello, Alex Bratton. Welcome along. And David Nagu, and thank you for uh, subscribing. Welcome to the BFN. Oh. And Xander's YT, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Right, we're going to turn this corner the other direction. I think Carmson will be the first map to come out for FS22. I don't know. Um, uh, on the mod hub, quite possibly. But it depends on, uh, on whether it passes or fails testing, of course, as well. You know, I there are, as I said, there are 800 mods in the test list. So you got all of those have got to clear through first before Carmsden. And then uh, it's got to pass first time as the first map in FS22. I think I think that that is I as I said awesome if Foxy can get it out by Christmas, but uh, it is going to be... Uh, oh, it can get it in by Christmas. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit of an uphill battle, battle to actually get it released by Christmas. Do you have the pleasure of a new song next year? No, song doesn't change. Song is always brand new Combine Harvester. Oh, I did... I Sorry, Farming for the Nation. I finished so late yesterday and I've been out all day today. That I have not looked at it yet. 
I will try and look at it before tomorrow's Twitch stream. We still got create fields on. Let's turn that off. Uh, Chloe Vinfin, uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the BFN. It's a little bit slower on the um, on showing me uh, exactly who has uh, subscribed on me. This map is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Actually works better from the other direction. Like that. Thank you for uh, welcome along. It is beautiful, as we say in Norfolk, absolutely beautiful. We still actually we still got hay bales on this field. We need to collect that. That's the other reason why I hadn't ploughed this yet. plant anything in November corn sun oh no it's harvesting uh poplars no okay it's fine but we can destone this so other than eggs what's the best way to make money in FS22 um with production chains and looking at it cotton and uh wool are really good if you've got the uh spinnery and the uh the spinnery and the uh clothing factory both the clothes the, the stuff that whoa 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 forwards uh the stuff the the price of stuff coming out of the clothing factory is amazing. Uh, have I played Five Nights at Freddy's? No, I haven't. So other games I tend to play, um, I like to play Seven Days to Die. Uh, Seven Days to Die is a cracking game. Um, I like to play uh, uh, Apex Legends. I play a bit of Apex Legends. Um, and I also play a bit of uh, Bevel Viking, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the BFM. I'll uh, also play a little bit of ETS and SnowRunner and that kind of thing. Uh, are the market values broken? Not as far as I know. Tyro. Uh, welcome along. Uh, greenhouses are good uh, poker deal, yeah. Uh, it is. Um... But, you know, the, the outcome of it is pretty good. There we go. I uh, bring back the smaller Massey Combine that was on FS19. Uh, oh, I know the one you mean. Yeah, the, a lot of the older stuff from FS19 is being re-released by Giants uh, on the Mod Hub. This is, uh, this is the Fact Sheet Friday stuff we've been getting. So the Fact Sheet Friday stuff we've been getting is, is stuff Giants are going to release. Um, so I am looking forward to sort of everything that's come through so far. There's some really nice equipment uh, that's come through on that. Uh, let's get that bit. Yep. 
from Finland, so it's pretty hard for people who aren't Finnish to say Finnish names. Uh, yeah, I apologize. I mangle everybody's name. So I apologize for that. Oh, there we go. Love the base game Deutz in FS22. Uh, yeah, this one is, is actually really nice. We got so lucky with both this Deutz and the Massey because we were hiring one of those Massey uh, S, uh, eight S's. And then we had that and this come up um, on sale in the shop. And it's just meant that we're really set up on our farm here. We just have such a nice setup here now with our plow and everything and and should be able to to really uh, expand uh, this is Erlingrat the gaming goat so this is uh, this is the third base game map it's the map uh, it's the one that was included in the alpine dlc uh, i suspect someone eventually will do a clarkson's farm map uh, whether they'll do a good Clarkson's farm map, that's more the question. Oh, I just realized something. Pause. Picture. Oh. I must have pressed that button, because if that, yeah. If that, if I come back off pause too quickly, uh, it's, um... It doesn't put the uh, bit back on. And then I have to go back into pause and take another screenshot. It is, it is a gorgeous map. And I love how in the winter months you get such a huge shadow from the mountains. And that is just amazing. But yeah, I want to set up two arable fields on here. So we'll do one up the top here, which is this one. And then we'll do one um, further down. I think we can possibly expand this a little further. Oh, back it up. I'm using TAA because I'm running at uh, 1080, so I don't need to do use uh, DLS, DLSS, or DLAA. I think is the other version. Uh, if, if you're not doing the upscaling, um, I found if I used uh, DLAA, DLAA, I ended up um, with really fuzzy crops. So uh, I've just stuck with TAA and gone with that. So they're telling today that even moonlight now casts shadows. Yeah. The lighting in, in FS22 is awesome. And it's just such a good looking game. Always says Finnish words and names wrong. Ah, there we go. So yeah, this should be a uh, this should be a pretty good field for us. Uh, we'll get those bales up, and I think I'm gonna basically get through winter a bit fast. Uh, we're fairly well set up. Let's see. Uh, limit, yeah, there we go. Limit fields. Uh, we need to stone pick these two fields we're creating. Uh, and yeah, we can go a little bit more towards the bottleneck, I think, with this field. Because the trouble is, there is there is just this bottleneck uh, around the top here where harvesting, it, it just makes harvesting a weird thing to do. So, good evening, Mr. Simulation for the Nation. How are you doing? Am I using GPS yet? I am. I have it enabled on here. I don't have it enabled on either of my tractors yet. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I could be using it on here, and I probably should be using it on here, actually. Actually, should we go and put it on? Let's go put it on this tractor. And that way we can actually do a setup for it. Right. 
right, let's uh, let's go do that. So let's uh, turn the plow. Fold the plow. And we'll go put um, GPS. Uh, oh no, I can't. I can't put GPS on this tractor. I only have 2,000 euros. So yeah, that's a plan that's not going to work. Oh, now I'm quick on the main farm. Would be a good idea to delete. Oh, um, it depends. If you've got a use for them, I'd use them. I think they're, I think they're fairly good fields for um, putting a load of grapes or olives into. To be honest, I think I think they would go very nicely um, as an area for that. Or possibly somewhere to expand the yard into. Certainly the one next to the yard, I think, is a great place to expand the yard into. It's 15k. Yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go to the bank to do that. We're we're doing alright without it for now, so I'm gonna stick without it. Your mum and dad are both farmers? Nice. My dad was a farmer. My game team is adding a canopy option and working on speed on her to an animated needle on uh, on the porch. Did... Is that the one that I've got on here, Richard? Because if he's if he's altering that one, I can't use it, and I can't recommend anybody else uses it because the only way you can get that Porsche is by buying that, and it's a DLC. So uh, yeah. Slap cow parched on the small fields at Emcrick. Not uh, yeah, not a bad decision, especially as the uh, those fields slope. Hello, uh, Mikhail uh, Kochik. Welcome along, and hello to you in Croatia. What's my anti-aliasing? Uh, TAA is the the method of anti-aliasing I'm using. I'm doing well, thank you, Sim. I saw your tutorial today. Uh, very good. I'm going to do a similar one next week. Uh, but I've got a very busy weekend this weekend, so I've not been able to get one out. Hello, uh, Raja uh, Wally. Welcome along. Code is out on the internet. Mr. CDP published it. Yeah, it's no, it's yes, don't. It's not, it's, it's. I cannot speak for a fellow creator, but no. <laughs> yeah, no, is, is my response. That is published without permission and is, um, yeah. I cannot condone its use at all. It's, it's not, it's not something I will be talking about and it's, it's not a, uh, and any mod created off it. Um, I I won't be um, I won't be using. So yeah. Evan Nagel, welcome along. How are you doing? I've already I've already had one person say they will never use a mod site again because they published that code. So, yeah. It's the same, it's the same as far as I'm concerned as a cracked. Um, DLC. Yeah. 
Yeah, and somebody somebody said they won't use King Mods again because they saw it on there. And, and I explained that King Mods being who they are, that would have got reported quickly and taken down quickly. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, but I have had one person say they won't use it anymore because they saw that code on there. And yeah. But then, if that's the case, then it will be made available by Giants. And as it hasn't, then um, it hasn't. Why do I have MPH instead of KPH? Um, because I prefer MPH. MPH makes more sense to me. <laughs> yes, I am on a, uh, a European map, um, but yeah. Yeah, exactly, Sim, exactly. So I've got good mods on websites. Uh, yes, so I am, so I put, a, I put a message out earlier this week, actually, in general, talking about mods. I've seen a few modders on Facebook and, um, uh, and, and around complaining because, uh, well, a pretty big uh, mod site um, uh, has been allowing people to post, uh, has been allowing people to post unauthorized converts of their mods and not taking them down. Um, and, uh, and this is not King's Mod, uh, King Mods, because King Mods is actually a really great site, and I recommend them, and their takedown policy is absolutely brilliant. If you see, I will say, if you see a mod on King's Mod, uh, and King Mods that should not be, is, is, uh, bad co uh, convert without permission of the modder, or, or is a stolen mod, or anything like that, report it to them they will take it down because they are a cracking mod site who absolutely respect modders um what website okay i i i am gonna double check it before i say anything further because i've not been naming but it's it's one which is it's one which i see a lot of people post on and right there we go and I just want to double check if they've still got it on there. Uh, yeah, okay, yes. It is. Right, it is uh, Mod Network. I have, uh, I've never really been in, uh, I've never really liked them. Um. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm not disagreeing with you, Richard. I'm I'm saying that that I can't, I cannot use a a an altered version of the Porsche because that is circumventing the download. Um, but yeah, uh, if you go on there, there is just a ton of mods that say a mod by X converted by why and some of the modders who are listed as converter uh, uh, as the original modders absolutely uh will have not given permission um uh stolen mods being uh, uploaded to mod sites and it's particularly heinous on that one uh because that site pays the people who upload stuff by the download. Yeah, so I, I, I've never really trusted that site, and it's, uh, and it, it, you know, lots of people have said it's great, and it's not. It's, it's, it does the same thing as every other dodgy mod site, except it also gives all of those people who uh, want to steal people's mods and badly convert them, a way of earning money from other people's mods, which is worse. So, yeah. 
Um, but I, I, so I asked the question this week. Ah, uh, multiple ones, Evan. This is the thing. It's not just one mod. It is a whole load of mods. Massive number of mods. Uh, King Mods is a giant's ambassador, yes. And that's why he has such a good takedown policy. Because, uh, and, and, uh, and is a mod site I respect. Because he is a giant's ambassador and he does take down. If somebody submits a, a dodgy mod to his site, he will take it down very, very quickly. I've seen them go within a couple of hours. How wide is this plow? Uh, this is a... Uh... Do we own... Yeah, we own this plow. Uh, three and a half meter. Oh, yeah, they have. And if you see an illegal convert, it's on that site especially, report it. Hey, Jessies. Am I going to sing? We've only got... we got 181 people in here. We've got 53 likes. Uh, so as we've hit, hit 50 likes... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome. Um, so, um, Marlon runs King Mods, he's a, he's a French, uh, creator, a French YouTube, uh, French YouTuber. Um, and uh, it's advertising. Uh, he, but it's not the normal advertising. It's uh, it's um, Google ads and ads for farm sim. So uh, it's it's not run through an ad network. He puts his own ads up there, uh, and um, so you don't get any of the the really dodgy ads that that can come in. Uh, when a site is done with adverts. And... Uh, yeah, he is very good at taking stuff down. I mean, impressively good at taking stuff down. Yeah, we cleared this out last time because I wanted to take this field to this point. Hey, pizza is my name. Right from some of this is giants will allow console players. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I think I think the giants plans to make all of these available at some point. Um, my worry is that they may not officially do it anymore which is sad i mean that's really sad because the trouble is the people who don't go on dodgy sites and don't uh and don't uh, check and follow these links and things will miss out as a result. Yeah. Uh, hey, Smith. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. Welcome along. It fits into the whole we can't have nice things categories. I don't think I wanted to go quite where I've gone, but never mind. Actually, yeah, we need to... We're going to have to expand this a little bit further, this field, I think. Because I want to go basically up to that rock over there, but we've got too many bales in the way. Zach Scrivens, welcome along. How you doing? 
Uh, you can create a... Uh, yes, but why do King's Mods have the same mods on there as the Mod Hub? Go check them out, Eugene. They link to the Mod Hub. And this, again, is one of the big differences between King Mods and so many dodgy mod sites out there. King Mods lists the original modders link in their directory. They don't download it. They don't host the mods on their site. They use the original modders links. And so every single mod on there is the original modders link for it. And that includes any mod hub link, uh, any mod hub mod you see listed on that site. Which is the way you should do it. If you want to list and uh, if you want to list mod hub mods, link to the mod hub. Don't plonk them on your own site. And uh, and and then you know not let the modders who have them, who who originally created them, get their their download um, amount for it. The RM on the Porsche is non-existent. That is not an excuse for uh, distributing the code illegally. There. Not hosting is a pretty smart move. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, J-Man. Uh, and it means that he can list every single mod he comes across. Because it respects the original original modders, um, and the original modders get their links and everything, and uh, and it means that he's able to gather a collection of all the mods in uh, uh, that are available for farming in one place. The same, it's the same reason why I supported Yes Mods. Yes Mods did the same. They would list the original mod uh, with the original modders link. And it's why so many dodgy sites are dodgy, because they don't. They download the mods and host it on their own site, and or host it on share mods themselves, and they, they take all the cash, and the original modder takes none of it. Do you need to re-sow grass after mowing it? No, I'm, uh, I'm actually currently making uh, an arable field, is what I'm doing it, uh, here. Uh, we've got a nice big grass field um, that I actually re-sowed without really realizing I didn't need to re-sow it um, down the bottom, and uh, we're we're going to um, we're going to put crops in this come the spring. Yeah, grass regrows by itself. Have I played Five Nights at Freddy's? No, Robin, I have not played Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh do yes mods still do things um i he had retired for a bit i've seen a few bits listed on there but i don't think he's doing as much as he used to uh it was a brilliant site because not only yes mods was even better because uh rather than just listing the mods it rated them and only posted the best ones which was which was even better And that's what I miss about Yes Mods. Yeah, Yes Yes Mods. I think real life caught up with him, and uh, and he wasn't able to to keep doing stuff, which is a pity because yeah, it's Yes Mods is a, was a fantastic site. Right. So I want to go and get another tractor. Actually, we need this one. Can uh, grass roll after mowing to increase yield and fertilize state? Yes. Yeah, you can roll grass after um, seeding uh, to uh, improve the fertilizer state of it, definitely. Almost that perfect. 
That's all right. That's on that. So yeah, the choke point is that bit there. So we're we're not going to reseed that with a crop. Yeah, yes, yeah, mod tested the mods, which was which was just brilliant. And I downloaded so many great mods uh, via that site. And after mowing too, yeah. So I'm probably going to get a grass roller and uh, and do that. The field that we reseeded that's now growing fairly nicely. There we go. Do I know the camper? I don't know the camper. I have... Somebody asked earlier, do I know Daggerwin? Um, I have communicated with Daggerwin over email a few times. Um, I don't know him personally, but uh, yeah, seems like a nice guy from the interactions I've had with him. What am I, am I still wearing? Yeah, I'm still wearing my new Holland shirt. We want to get these two as well. Ah, I have to go from the other direction. Back it up. How's the new wheel? New wheel's going very nice, thank you, Derek. Um, yeah, I am still paying it. <laughs> For those uh, wondering, yes, I do still need to pay it off. Um, anything that you might be able to give towards it would be very grateful. Um, but uh, uh, not necessary at all. Um, there we go, down here. Oh, I do, I do quite like this ATS, Sim. It's a nice track to this. And, uh, and we own it now. It's got 42 hours on it, the one we've got, but I do own it. My big pile of hay bales. Right, that should have cleared out enough for me to finish this field off. Yeah. Okay, no, I need to allow create fields on. Here's a beaut. I really like this Deutz as well, actually. This Deutz has been a great tractor for us on here. So we'll head down to the choke point, which is basically between uh, these bits here. Do I like... Uh, I have no idea who that is, uh, Robin. What graphics card do I have? I have a 2070, an RTX. So, uh, NVIDIA. There we go. Yeah, that's, that'll be a good field. Uh, it gets a bit thin after that point, so... That is about square, actually. Nope, that's right. 
Might you get the JCB aggro loader quite cheap on the sale? Actually, I haven't looked what we've got in the sale today. Uh, Brat in the trailer. Ah, uh, no, not quite. What is the one we need? There is... I, can't, I still can't believe that walkabout bin. Um, Power Harrow. I think it's the... 40, yeah, we need a 40-40. So I've got my eye out for that. That doesn't have the back bit on it. Where's the planters? Nope, not planters. Cedars. All right, that, yeah. Looking at that, that doesn't have a PTO at three. Okay, yeah. So we need a 40-40 when we can afford it. Uh, my bail stack is right. No, it's not. I've stacked it well. I am well stacked. <laughs> I don't think the sales are OP. Um, the cost to run these tractors is actually pretty high. Uh, I've got 36 hours on my Deutz and 42 on my um, on my Massey. It costs with age. It costs more to maintain them. So while I've got some nice, powerful tractors, uh, it is costing me more to keep them running. And I had to pay out a load of stuff to get them re fully repaired as well in the first place. So, uh, yeah. You don't do any repair. Oh, your tractors won't. Um, your tractors won't run anywhere near as well if you don't do the repairs. Definitely want to repair your tractors. Weights? I don't think so. Uh, you're gonna get. I don't think there's the 80. I don't think anybody's done an, a, a, an official convert of a 2080 yet. Uh, this map is Erlengrat. It's the third base game map. Forwards. There we go. Not quite in the right place, right? Yeah, I'm on tractor. You can do it. There we go. Just don't repaint anything. Yeah. Oh, man. I thought repainting costs in FS19 were bad. Sheesh. FS22, they are monstrous. Hey, real good kid, real good kid. Welcome along. I don't have a map command at the moment. Because we because we got base game maps. There we go. Play an FS2 on PlayStation. Uh, 22 on PlayStation. Nice. I'm actually thinking of trying to get hold of a copy of it on PlayStation because there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of tutorials what I that I want to do that uh, it would be useful to also have a console perspective. Plow down, yeah, I should do. In fact, normally the better way to do it would be to a plow across. And, uh, and next time I do this field, yes, absolutely. I'll be going across the field rather than up the hill like this, because this is not a wise idea. When we de-stone it, I will probably go across the hill, I think. That makes more sense. 
Repairing is useless if I drive myself because it affects the time work. So workers are expensive, but... I uh, know it loses horsepower, Tommy. So you, can, you can't quite pull as well. It, it's, it does more than just increase the time the hired workers take. Yeah. Who repaints a tractor? Seriously. It depends on the it depends on the tool. I mean, yeah, if you're buying a 350 uh, horsepower tractor for a 150 horsepower plow, then yeah, you're not going to need that full whack. Um, but then normally you're paying more for that tractor than you'd pay for a brand new one that has 150 horsepower. Yes, corporate contracting will be keeping a very tidy looking fleet as soon as we have a map that we can do it on. Oh, I'm looking forward to that, but I need a, yeah, we need a good multi-farm map. I don't think, uh, I don't think that Carmston's going to be that map. Um, I think that they're probably, I tell, actually, Sim, I'll tell you what will be. Meadow Grove. With uh, with Nathan now working on Meadow Grove, that's going to be a very nice uh, multi-farm map. Ply using now is 220. Do I paint the electric tractor so it matches the Massey? Well, no, because I've got a nice green tractor here as well. some point there will be a mod for automatic upkeep so i'll repair them ah i like the upkeep thing that's it's not uh it's it's not a, a a piece of gameplay that's overly difficult to do or to keep up with i don't think so and you guys this will be the first map for fs22 on mod hub i have no idea I, I still maintain that although Oxy is looking to get Carmsden finished before Christmas, I don't think Carmsden will be out before Christmas. Do I do multiplayer with my subscribers? I do, Hamburger. Uh, multiplayer will be starting probably in the next... I, it, at this point, it's looking like after Christmas stroke New Year. Uh, we're going to be doing multiplayer here on a Saturday, so replacing this, um, and um, and on uh, Twitch on a Tuesday. So it'll be Tuesday on Twitch uh, and uh, Saturday on uh, here on YouTube, um, and we will be I will be opening up the server and uh, and yeah, we're going to have a multi farm set up and. People will be able to join one of several farms and uh, and help out and work and, and do all that kind of thing. I want to set the farms up so they have a decent set of land and everything. And, uh, and yeah, I, I might need to add that, Jesse's. <laughs> I'm not sure I've added that yet. And I want to actually change that command because I want to make it uh, mention here. It is. An, uh, Nightbot does seem to be hiding a bit tonight. Maybe I can log back into Nightbot. Because Nightbot has not put any commands in. Where are you, Nightbot? Log in. Stop. Are you there? Yeah, it's not logged it in yet. Uh, 
allow. Come on. I think Nightbot's got disconnected from my channel for some reason. Evening, Jolly. Evening, Bitches Tech. Why is that not working? Why is everything disconnected from YouTube? Why is that not working? Nightbot sleeping on the job, but also um, I've got no connection uh, with my stream deck either. So that's weird. Right, that's that done anyway. Turn the plow and we'll head back out. Yeah, so we're then going to turn, we're going to leave that section there, and then we're going to turn this top end, uh, we're going to turn this bottom end of the field into a, uh, uh, into an arable field as well. Once we've got all of these, uh, bales lifted. Yeah, Night, Nightbot is, is having some time off. Limit to fields, right. And then unfold, and we'll put this down. We are going to wash this in a bit. Oh, uh, around here. There we go. Just put this down here. And disconnect it. And then put a way too large tractor on a very small tractor. Actually, no, I'm not using Deutz for this. We'll use the electric tractor for this bit. Uh, evening, Bonkers Buzzer. Welcome along. Uh, have I got used to GPS on FS22? Yeah, I have GPS set up identically on FS22 to um, how I have it set up on... Uh, I had it set up on 19. Right, there's structure one. Out of interest, why do I like farming in FS so much? I grew up on a farm. I, uh, yeah, uh, and it's something that is, I'm not able to do. Uh, my dad sold his farm uh, several years ago, and uh, yeah, it's something that I'm not ever gonna be able to do in real life, so. Um, I live it vicariously through uh, farm sim. And I've actually learned a lot about farming by playing farm sim. Um, I had a fair amount of knowledge already, but uh, yeah, farm sim, I've learned an awful lot more. So none of, yeah, none of my links are working. None of my stuff is working. Hello, Guy Hammer, welcome along. No. Wow. Just wow. What the heck was that? Go get this one up here. Uh, do you know how to drive a Fiat 80? Then come and work my farm. Out. I used we used to have uh, Fords on the farm, so we had um, we had a couple of 7610s. We had 
Uh, I drove a 7840. Uh, that was the tractor I had when I was uh, doing harvest. And uh, yeah. Wow. That was a bit of feedback. I'll try and stack these a little bit differently today. So I've seen people basically doing this. I did not work. I'm having to stab them in the side. I didn't want to do that. Do I know Stab the Man? Yeah, Stab the Man's a good friend. Stan's been on uh, some of my live streams and things before. There we go. What do I think of Carlson from the screenshots? Carlson looks amazing from the screenshots. My day job, uh, yes, yeah, so I build um, uh, mobile apps during the day. Bales, no, the bales aren't bouncy, not at all. The bale's actually a, a lot better than 19. One oh two likes. Time for a song. I drove me a tracker through your a stack last night. Ooh, are you are? I threw me a pitchfork at your doctor. Keep quiet. Ooh, are you are? Now something's telling me that you've been avoiding me. Come on now, darling. I've got something you need. Because I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now. Let's get together in perfect harmony. I've got 20 acres and you've got 43. Now I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. I'll stick by you. I'll give you all that you need. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. We'll have twins and triplets. I'm a man built for speed. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And you know I love you, darling. So give me your hand. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. All I want most is all those acres of land. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I've got 20 acres and you've got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. For seven long years I've been alone in this place. Who are you are? Eat, sleep in the kitchen. It's a proper disgrace. Who are you are? Now if I cleaned it up, would you change your mind? Who are you are? I'll give up drinking scrumpy and that lager and lime. Cause I got a brand new car by Harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I've got 20 acres and you've got 43. Now I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Uh, weren't we a grand couple at that last personal start? I wore me brand new gaiters and me corduroy pants. You in your new Sunday dress with your perfume smelling grand. We had our photos took and us sold in hands. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Now that we're both past the 50s, I think that you and me should stop this gallivanting and will you marry me? Because I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. There we go, everybody. Your reward for passing. 100 likes. Thank you so, so much.
FS Ranger is only his pallet's getting stuck on the ground. Yeah, I've seen a few people with that issue. Um, hopefully that should be fixed in the first patch. Uh, which, again, hopefully shouldn't be too far away either. This is not the best way to stack these bales on this trailer. Not by a long shot. It was worth the test, but no. That one's going to fall off. I was a little bit rough with the trailer, to be honest. Thank you, Grey Mantle. Have I seen that? Uh, I've seen his series. Uh, I haven't watched that much of it. Um, I don't get to watch as much Farm Sim as I used to. Uh, I there's, there's lots of developers I... Uh, Oh, sorry. Lots of uh, creators I enjoy, but I just don't get to watch their stuff as much anymore. Uh, what apps do I develop? I'd rather not discuss my day job on here, uh, Farming for the Nation. Partly because a couple of them are fairly high profile. And uh, and I don't, I don't want, you know, anybody coming across and going oh why doesn't this work on x app or something like that so because this is not the place for it thank you daddy chop chop right there we go how many more bales do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine okay i think we'll go and sell these ones where's the best place to sell bales or sell hay. Because we got it easily got enough bales. Uh, selling, selling. No. No. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. Hey, hey. I love that it has what it is by it now. That's actually really helpful. Hey. Animal dealer, 104 per thousand liters. Fine. Tag it. It's over there. Perfect. Let's go. Does this have a... Yeah, this does have a beacon. Oh, look, the beacon's going. Oh, this is up the hill. I don't want to go up the hill. I want to go down it. What's my favorite map on FS22? Probably Elm Creek. Um, I'm really enjoying that map. Uh, I, but all three base game maps are fantastic. Uh, give it, yeah. Opsec. No. Uh, what I notice is that on the French map and the Alpine map, with cultivating, instead of only small rocks, also big rocks come up, which should not happen. Uh, I hope they fix that, though. Yeah, I got a lot of big rocks uh, cultivating on uh, Hope Belleron uh, in my last video. So, yeah, I have noticed that as well. Soon, uh, oh, train going through. That was close. Right, animal dealer is up here. in here. Dude, that's not bad, actually. Is 
that button. Okay. And out again. Uh, use the disc, Caro, no rocks. There we go. I do like that using different pieces of equipment have different effects, which is really nice. The difference with the subsoil is as weird as the Agrisim and the Kuhn subsoil are the same form of subsoil, but the end result is different. That's interesting. Maybe there's a... Um, a difference in their uh, spec. The rock's great, but I think there should be a little less. It does look like a sea of rocks, especially big ones, just occasionally ones that need rock pickers. Um, can I name a character from the survival role play? Well, there's the one that everybody's na everybody names. Ooh, did I fail to... Failed to replant that bit on that hill. Now, Dennis is the one that everybody knows from the role plays. Uh, Gabriel Rigo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Sorry. Welcome to the BFN. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Wrong system. Just rock on. They're no, same in the price. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that in their definition, in their uh, XML, they're not different somehow. Keep the small rocks. I I I like the rock thing. I as uh, some people saying, you know, use a disc uh, disc uh, arrow. Uh, no rocks. There we go. Whoa. Right, we're stacked properly on this trailer this time. Because I want to plow this field. Right, we'll get six on here. Seven, eight. Yeah, we'll get all of these on here easily. Uh, AK47 Jeff, thank you for the for, uh, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the BFN. Hey Deke, welcome along. How you doing, my friend? Oh, uh, three and around and there we go. Is it worth it to do cereals? I've not done cereals yet, to be honest. Uh, hamburger. Um, I'm going to be looking into those in a little bit. I, I want to do a series on the production chains and on, on in each individual production chain. I tried recording it a week or so ago and I didn't like the result of the resulting video. So uh, I need to replan it and rework it. The new thing I had to just rock on. As DJ Gohan would say. Oh, ah, no, 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 I'm good, thank you, D. Yeah, I'm doing well. I've been all the way down to um, uh, Surrey and back today. So it's been a very long day. We got, we left at, uh, we left at nine o'clock this morning. We got back at half past seven this evening. <laughs> it's been a very long day. Right, before we knock any of these bales off, let's go strap them down.
So I love the Christmas lights. Ah, oh, thank you. That's my Christmas decorations that I uh, I set up a year, two years ago. And I just turn them on when Christmas comes along. So I have a nice little bit of snow at the top of the screen and some uh, Christmas lights and just festivus up the uh, the stream a little bit. My son watches the role plays, tried to watch one with him, ended up watching me on Twitch instead. <laughs> um, I, I love the work Dagwin puts into the role plays, but it's it's not how I want to play the game. So for me, it's it's way too much. It's a little too much soap opera and not enough farming, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, and kudos to Dagwin, you know, massive, massively successful for him and uh, worked really, really well. But I do my role plays differently. Been playing the... Ooh, nice, Deke. What, with uh, in person? Yeah, with, with the... Yeah, with the miniatures in person. That's awesome. About to start one. Uh... So I'll tell you guys that um, Dagger Wind's survival role plays take five hours to make each episode. That's to record and edit and and put together. I have a ridiculous amount of respect uh, for the guy for the amount of work that goes into them. Um, I do not ever have five hours to spend on uh, on creating an episode, unfortunately. If I was full-timing it, I, absolutely, I would. Um, you know, I would be spending a lot of time making stuff like that. But I, I just can't. Um, and I've developed ways to do interesting and different role plays that, that takes... Uh, when am I starting one? Uh, my, uh, I will be doing a role play. Um, I, I have role plays in FS19 on the channel. If you want to check out my role plays, please do. Uh, we will be doing, uh, we'll also be doing the realism experiment again over on Twitch. Uh, so that will be, um, as I was saying earlier, when Carmston comes back, uh, we'll be doing a, 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 a probably Carlston will be doing the realism experiment on there. Uh, that I'm massively looking forward to. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I will be doing at some point. I'll be doing a survival experiment on here as well, um, because that was so much fun in FS19. The survival experiment on Six Ashes. Well, apart from going a hundred episodes. I think it went to 106 episodes in the end. Uh, uh, just so much fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, I want to do another one on here. Uh, but I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, virtual Farmer. It's twitch.tv forward slash virtual farmer. Uh, on FS2, uh, 22, when the right map comes along, guy. Uh, I want to continue my role play from FS19 on uh, Attingham Park. So uh, when GB brings out Attingham Park, I will go and do uh, a role play on that. And continue what we started there. Hey, Fieldin, welcome along. Or Fieldin, welcome along. Did you enjoy the FSL final? I didn't get to see all of it, unfortunately. Um, I think it was a blessing in disguise. I wasn't trying to cast it because with the internet I had, it would not have worked. Right, let's go sell these. Um, I should mention, uh, tomorrow's Twitch stream will not be at 8 p.m. It will be... I did that last time. Uh, will be at 12 p.m. It will be lunchtime tomorrow. I am out tomorrow night, uh, but I... Because of the internet problems, I didn't want to drop tomorrow's stream. So I'll be streaming for three hours between midday and 3 p.m. tomorrow. 
So, uh, yeah. You live uh, two minutes from there. I love that. I, I just love that map. It's awesome. I don't reconfin. I, I would look at your log file. See if there's anything in there. That will point you in the right direction to fix that issue. Doop -de -doop -de -doop. It's good to know our little electric tractor is useful for something. I've actually used this more today than I have many other times. Many other streams. It's great for just transporting stuff about. There we go. Nice little bit of money. Not really somewhere where you should drive a tractor, but this little tractor is small enough. Why do you get one disc and... Uh, I don't know, actually. this so mine is mine is still in its nice case but i'm gonna have to open this this is my collector's edition version let me see ah live on stream unboxing live on stream Oh yeah, there's two discs. Disc one, disc two. I would guess you install disc one and then um and then you uh and then you have to uh continue installing off disc two. gaming welcome along <coughs> uh yeah all of gb's maps are absolutely fantastic i'm actually feeling rather warm now hope we get some small equipment out we've got lots of small equipment and um, one of the uh one of the complaints people have is that there's not enough big equipment and giants have been releasing some small equipment as well which is good We've had uh, we've had some small stuff released on the mod hub recently, which is great news. Right. Uh, no. Great little tract. What map is this? Uh, this is uh, Elegrat. This is the third map that comes with Farmson. 22. Uh, it's also the map that was available as part of the Alpine DLC. Nope, too far. Too far already. There's a certain point which if you take it behind when you're or take it past when you're reversing a dolly you can't get it back from and you have to go forwards.
want that to turn a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Forwards. And reverse. Correct it. And there we go. Like to see some vintage stuff that use the old Theta and Porsche. Yeah, and some some really small stuff would be interesting. Um, I think that's more likely to come in um, in the form of uh, mods, to be honest. But yeah, stuff that can... Because that's only got about 22 horsepower, that Porsche. I, and Nathan, I like practicing reversing it. Do I have a weight there now and then? Right, let's go create the second field. Oops, that is way too much of an angle. Uh, the Porsche is downloadable content. It comes with this. So to get it, you need to purchase this, which is uh, the model kit. Uh, yeah, I've heard I've heard issues with trucks. I haven't really used the trucks that much so far uh, So it's not it's not something I've come across um, But yeah, I, I've heard a few people have had uh, had issues with uh, some of the uh, truck wheels uh, Getting very spinny Yeah How much is it? I think it was about £20 for the model kit. Yeah, I think DJ ordered his from Germany. Right, so I want that on. Is the model kit worth it? Um, I I haven't built it yet, actually. I want to. It, from what I've seen, it's a nice little model kit. Uh, so, yeah, I, I want to build it. I've just not had the chance. I might do it over Christmas, actually. I might, uh, I might have a go at building the model kit over Christmas. Am I going to have a Deutzfahr Combine on here? I might. We'll see. I tend to... So my recommendation for everybody um, starting out first year is actually not to buy a Combine. I think until you have a decent amount of money, there is no point buying a Combine. Um, and it is the, uh, the one piece of advice I have, actually. Don't buy a Combine until you can absolutely afford it. <laughs> um, you can get it. I got mine from an English store, a British store. Uh, and I think it's available on Amazon UK now. Um, I think I've seen it there too. It's positioned right. We're now in the shadow. We've got to the point point of the day where we're in shadow. Yep. Right 
then I'm going to take this. Uh, do I want to take this bit straighter? I don't know. We'll take it definitely down the side of the road here. Like that. And then we might gently bring it round. Yeah, they're like that, I think. How's the game like when using a steering wheel? Uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, the force feedback works really nicely, uh, and I'm loving it. There we go. Bozeman's found it on Amazon. Oh, actually. Let me see if I can give you guys an affiliate link. So if somebody does want to get it, you can, and you can support the channel as well. How do you spell Porsche? P-O-R-C-H. P-O-R-S-C. Porsche. Uh, e I -Z Junior. Not that one, not that one. Ah, uh, Junior. They don't, yeah, I can't find it on Amazon UK with the farming simulator set up. It's def definitely available in the UK, though. I'll have to have a, a bigger search for it. Gonna go across the slope, so we'll start at this corner here. Yeah, so we'll get two decent sized fields out of this. Uh, I'm not doing one big field uh, as I have done in the past, but two decent sized fields will be good. Keep watching for my lake infusion. Thank you, Farming Eye Hawk. I can, I can probably find it, but. What's the code for? I can't see it on here. Uh, Amazon. Code it UK. Wow, I cannot type. Ah, there it is. Right. Okay. That is not what I kicked on, clicked on Amazon.
There we go. Right. Uh, sign in. It's going to send me... Oh, it's going to send me a one-time passcode. This is annoying. Right. Da, 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 da. Where are you? Where are you? By text message. There it is. There we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Here we go. If anybody wants to order it using an affiliate link from here. Oh, why is this being slow? There we go. Copy and paste. Yeah, there we go. So if you want to order it uh, on an affiliate link, um, that is the affiliate link to do it with. Uh, if you use a sofa for driving, what do I use for walking around moving camera? Uh, keyboard. And uh, for moving uh, for moving my camera, I use the mouse. And for uh, front loader, I use the farm sim side panel. I understand if you want the Porsche on console, the code that comes with that will work for uh, consoles as well. And in fact, it doesn't say anywhere on the box it's limited to PC, so yeah. Is this game good for Xbox? Uh, I think so. Um, I, I like it. I think it's a fantastic game. Um, I don't have it on Xbox, so I can't speak for Xbox specifically. But I think in general, it's a great game. So, yeah, it's going to be my answer with that caveat. It is. I love FS22. It is just absolutely awesome. Have I got create fields? Uh, yeah, let's limit this to fields. Hopefully. Well, we'll see how much we can uh, do in here. Oh, wow. Where's the field start? There. Okay, fine. We won't limit this to fields. Can you still get collect edition on Amazon? I thought it was only available for pre-order. No, I believe collect edition is still available. Um, that one I can give you an affiliate link for immediately. Uh, whoops. Nope. Nope. I... Underscore FS22. If you want to buy the collector's edition and support the channel, that is the link. I'm off course. Uh, it isn't on Giant. It's never been. The CE has never been on Giant's website. You might have to copy and paste that link because it doesn't look like it set it as a link. But, yeah. Yeah, that is definitely still available.
My ability to drive straight has disappeared. Nightbot has left me tonight. And if you use, uh, if you are buying anything from the Giants website, uh, please use by part the code BF Gaming uh, on there uh, to uh, support the channel as well. That would be awesome. Uh, as you get a huge grape vineyard, I would love to. Uh, my biggest problem with getting a huge grape vineyard is grapes cost... Actually, the grapes themselves cost a bit to uh, set up. Do I know Modest Gamer? No, I don't. I do try and get to know as many creators in the farm sim community as I can, but... Um internet in Norfolk is slow. I have 4G internet, uh, Daddy Chop Chop. Uh, so yeah, my my internet runs on a on a SIM card, which is what went wrong. Hey, John, much more welcome along. My uh, yeah, my internet basically. Uh, the SIM card died, and uh, it took a week for them to replace the SIM card. I have a I have a 4G aerial up on top of one of my uh, chimney stacks on my house. does well enough to allow me to stream at 1080p so steam power is a little bit advanced for Norfolk yeah we're still we're still using water wheels Although I hear that technology is coming back. Have I tried logging in FS3 too? No, not yet. I have uh, I have not experienced logging in uh, Norfolk Punch on a treadmill. <laughs> uh, it'd be nice to get a track to set up in real life uh, the small console board. Suffolk Punch. I think these are going to be two nice fields to have together like this, actually. And we could possibly put... Oh, I could put a sheep pen in the middle there. Maybe. That might be a good... We got so much excess. Yeah, we got so much excess. How much is a sheep pen? Basic sheep pen is 26,000. And how big is it? Not enough money. I know not enough money. We could put a couple of them in, actually. We could put one there. Yeah. And... One there. That would work really well, actually. Very tempted to do that. Or a sheep pen and a chicken pen. We could do that. What am I going to put in the fields? Well, uh, we'll have to put stuff that we can... Uh, we're going to need something that we can do uh, plant in the spring. So it's it's not going to be wheat or barley. Uh, that leaves oats. And so what can we plant as we're going to be planting in the spring? You're right on the Norfolk Suffolk border. Ah, I am right at the top end of Norfolk. 
Uh, we can plant oats, corn, sunflowers, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, uh, cotton, sorghum, grapes, olives. I think what we'll probably plant is a field of oats because we we'll, we can get straw from the oats and a field of don't know what the cows eat uh, not the cows the chickens if the chickens eat oats that would be good but I don't think they do I think we'd need horses to fully use the oats potato uh, sugar cane <laughs> We could do potatoes. Potatoes are a nice crop. Actually, I, I drove past your house twice today, Dick. Once on the way down and once on the way up. Wheat, barley, or sorghum. So we'll have to plant some soybean. Sorghum, yeah. If we're gonna do chickens, if I do chickens and uh, and uh, sheep, I'm gonna have to put sorghum. I'm gonna have to plant oats and sorghum. Just wondering, is your server up yet? Yeah, wait until the modern map comes out. Uh, my server isn't up yet. Yeah, I'm waiting till. Um, Things with servers um, calm down a bit and uh, mods start getting released for consoles again as soon as that happens. Um, so probably just after Christmas we'll start setting up the server. Uh, I was originally planning to do it uh, um, this year, uh, but I think we might start the server in January. Could have waited. Oh, you're in Thetford. <laughs> Yeah, it went past Thetford as well. <laughs> having put some more juice or power in the landy, after having uh, managed to uh, run its battery flat earlier in the week. So yeah, I want a rock pick on these two fields and then uh, we might put a road in down the side of this field so we've got access to this uh, this area in the middle. And I think I think this area works better as two fields, so Chargers as they were sitting around. Oh man. Yeah, mine. Uh, basically, my I've got a dodgy radio. I've got a dodgy aftermarket radio in the landing. And uh, if I leave the car unlocked, and my phone with the Bluetooth on comes anywhere near it, it will turn the radio on. And I left it. I unlocked it and and left it unlocked for a couple of days uh, by mistake. And uh, and yeah, the. the Radio came on, stayed on, and just ran the battery flat. Uh, this isn't a server. I'm not running a server at the moment. I will be running a server in the new year. Are there any new Holland TM mods out yet? Nope. Chicken in a sheep pen. Yeah, I'm not looking to put chicken in a sheep pen. No. I'm looking to put a chicken pen and a sheep pen down. We'll do all the animals. Probably need to get some bees and some horses as well. Uh, 
And look at that sunlight creeping across. The joys of uh, farming in the mountains. Go caravan at Wells, so I know exactly how bad the oh Wells, yeah. Internet would not be great. That's a little bit further around the coast from me. No, in the wilds of Norfolk, when you can leave your car on the Oh yeah. Yeah, the worst was a flat battery. I, yeah, it's not a wise thing to do anywhere, but yeah, I, I do love the fact that I, I do live in the middle of nowhere. All the animals also in a lion spot. So is that... Where is the sun peeking over? Must be over that mountain over there. Yeah. I do like that. If I turn the lights off, you can see exactly where it's, it's sort of peeking through over there. I love this game, but I can't play computers to no spec. Oh no, uh, splinters. Hey, uh, Sergeant 187 Alpha, welcome along. Uh, there we go. And up and off we go. I do love that you can put animal pens now on slopes. That is going to make a big difference on this farm. Uh, someone told me, uh, live stream, when the next game comes out, it won't be on consoles anymore. That is not true, John. That is so not true. Uh, half of half of farm sim players. Uh, are on console. Well, what's my favourite tractor brand? Uh, New Holland. I'm, I'm a New Holland fan. Oh, well, strictly speaking, it's David Brown, then Ford, but modern tractor brand, it's, it's New Holland. Yeah. Farm Sim, Farm Sim will absolutely be on console for its next version. Yeah. Giants are not going to turn around and, and not support half of their community that's that's yeah that's just not not whoever told you that was either pulling your your leg or purposefully misleading you The only way, actually, the only way that could possibly be true is if they were talking about the mobile game. Because the next version, strictly speaking, the next version of Farming Simulator to come out um, is uh, it will be the mobile version. And so, strictly speaking, that probably won't be on console, except that the last version of... Uh, Farm Sim to come out on mobile also came out on the Switch. So the likelihood is even the next version of Farm Sim, the mobile version of Farm Sim, will be out on console on the Switch. Am I going to have a greenhouse on this farm? No plans at the moment. We might do. Actually, actually, I know where we could put a greenhouse. And then we got milk and... Ooh, we might be able to ba make cakes on here if we get eggs and milk. We might be able to produce some butter. That might be a good way to go. 
get flour from oats, I think, and sorghum. Hey, Cynical Bunny, welcome along. I am. I'm doing very well today, thank you. Yeah, we might we might be able to do cakes on this map with the uh, with the animal plants. That would work well. in the making, absolutely. Uh, so in these two fields, I think we, we basically worked out, if I'm going to add chickens and sheep to my farm, then I'm going to have to plant uh, oats and sorghum. I could probably get away with two fields of sorghum because we, we, we don't need the straw. So I could probably plant sorghum and get away with that. I think if I, if I want to make flour I think I need uh, yeah one of those two some maple trees yeah get some maple syrup uh, there isn't at the moment uh, I think it'll only be a matter of time before somebody uh, creates a mod along those lines John uh, Giants explained it to uh, me as they didn't want to put a requirement on greenhouses that meant you had to do animals. Because some people don't like doing animals, uh, don't want to do animals in farming. So there's no requirement for manure um, because, you know, then, then you, you have to do animals to get manure at the moment. Uh, but... Um, yeah, I, someone will mod that in. Someone will add uh, greenhouses, uh, increasing yield or something if you add uh, manure into them. So, hello, uh, 013 City. Welcome along. And hopefully we'll get manure pallets as well that you can, you can buy manure on. So... Why don't animals have water on FS22? They do. Uh, water. I know my camera's over a little bit, a little bit, but yeah, water. They definitely have water. Data lar golden syrup will always be superior to maple syrup in my eyes. Right. Possibly farm, uh, farming for the nation or, or just putting in uh, the ability to buy a pallet of manure. Yeah, I, I would say adding the, the ability to buy a pallet of manure and putting manure as a requirement uh, or as I would have said what I'd like to have seen is manure as something that increases the yield of a greenhouse. That would have been cool. Yeah, manure's a sale all the time. Manure pallets would have been brilliant. Sheep don't require water. Uh. We'll find out. Oh, well. Uh, no, because I need I need more money than I've got to do the sheep. We may have to go and do a uh, contract to raise some cash. Larger animal, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so larger larger animal pens don't require water because it's plumbed in. Try livery opposite two stable there. Uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I need you more tutorials. I need to uh, I need to get more tutorial videos out. I said I was gonna do more tutorial videos, I need to get more tutorial videos out. Almost got it done. Yeah, winter gets dark early. Uh, there's greenhouse for seed and a uh, poor mob at third part. All right. Yeah, that will that will want there'll be one that comes out. It's just uh, a little bit of um, patience for it, really. Right, I think that's probably got us done for the day on here. So we can move on to the next game day. Because I want to accelerate things a bit. We're Do I have a... Nope. What is that? Oh, that's... Uh, okay, yeah. Right. Um, allow create fields. No, that's off. Good. I thought I had a pressure washer on here. Apparently, I don't. How much is a pressure washer? tools 4500 or oh one that i want to put this one yeah put this one okay there we go let's go wash this plow quickly Hello, Josh, uh, Lowesbrook. Welcome along. Nice to have a slightly cheaper pressure washer. Love dynamic, um, oh yeah. We'll give the tractor a quick wash down as well because that's fairly dirty. Perfect. Get some more cows. Uh, I want to get a little bit of variety in the farm first. <laughs> We're gonna do some uh, destoning, I think. There we go. Oh, I might go change the shirt as well. Is there somewhere on this house where I can? There's no way into it. I don't think. Nope. There's no wardrobe change area or anything like that around this. Not by the looks of things. I think I have to go down to the... Uh... Oh. Let's sleep through the night. But we can tell the next lot of uh, mods will be out. Yeah. There we go. Right. So how much is a stone picker? So lease that is 2,000. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we'll go and lease that. 
Uh, and we're going to be using the Deutz again. Do I do giveaways yet? I Well, I do in general. Um, unfortunately, Nightbot isn't working tonight, so you can't see the giveaway link. Um, which is annoying because I want you to uh, have, uh, have access to that. But, yeah. Let's head down the shop. Doop de doop de doop. I find giveaways, in stream giveaways, harder to do on uh, on YouTube. Uh, it's very difficult to message a winner. Whereas on Twitch, I can just send a whisper and send uh, send the information. So it's, yeah. Right, let's uh, lease this. Yes, okay. As we're going to speed through this day, I'm just going to put the time up until we get uh, get to sunrise. It shouldn't take too long with this piece of kit. There we go. Let's take the time back down. And as I was talking about earlier... way, I was talking about earlier, I'm going to do this field across the slope rather up and down it. Go round it first. Later, hamburger. Night, Deke. Oh, unless you're, are you, it's just saying night to, uh, night, Daddy Chop Chop. There we go. What time do I finish? Between half ten and eleven, normally. Although last night I went on till uh, about 10 past 11, but... Uh, yeah, tonight I'll finish um, sometime between half 10 and 11. I want to get this field stoned and, moved on, and move on to the next day. So that next weekend, we... Uh, we can do probably try and do maybe a contract or two and get started with uh, some chickens I think oh 
it's better than 19, definitely. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what that happens with the next one, but I'm hoping the next one isn't going to be for another three years. So, you know, FS25 would be the next one uh, if they keep to the three-year schedule. And I have no problem with that at all. I am going to enjoy playing the hell out of this. How's my FPS doing? Because we've got a few mods in now, and look at that. That is just solid 60 FPS. That's just brilliant. Don't need the lights on. Although, he's a little bit better with them on. I think I can go until 12. No. I cannot go to that late. Right, let's uh, drop that off. Uh, I am going to turn all the lights back on because it just helps to illuminate things a little bit. And then we're going to go across here like this. I need another one. They can upgrade this one, but it won't be good business I did. There it'll be, you know, we've, we've got, we know we've got the season one, a uh, year one pass. We will likely have as a year two pass. Um, I'm hoping we'll get a year three pass. Um, it'll be, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be cracking. Uh, Biff Tech 124 thank you for uh, subscribing. Welcome to the VFN. There we go. I mean, this is, for me, pretty much the it is the best base game farm sim they've ever done uh, there are so many functions in here that i am just amazingly happy in our base game seasonal uh seasonal growth um all of the stuff um to do with production chains there's just so much that is so cool in this and yeah, there's a lot to explore. And I can't wait to see what uh, map makers do. I really can't. I think it's it's going to be amazing. Hello, Alice Explorer. Welcome along. This is uh, this is great for this. It is epic. It really is. Did I see clutch there where I use the electric forklift to prepare fields? No. A field stone pickup and everything. 
Living that food all this <laughs> yet yeah, already. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll go for another... Well, we'll go until we've picked the stones, basically, tonight. Till we've got these fields prepared for reseeding, and then we can uh, concentrate on animals next time. Certainly, sheep, we already have enough stuff to feed them and do them, so uh, getting the, the sheep will be quite useful. Um, and uh, I'm beginning to get that stuff moving. Uh, then... Um, yeah, after that, uh, I do want to get some chickens. Can't wait for Oxy's map for Carbson. Yeah, Carbson's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. But then I think everybody's looking forward to Carbson. But we're beginning to see some other maps talked about now. Meadow Grove, as I was saying earlier, Meadow Grove is looking cracking. Um... Just, just waiting for that from Nathan. And that, that will be an amazing multiplayer map, Meta Grove. Don't forget to... Oh, yeah. No, wrong one. Let's just see what, what is in the store sales today. Wow! It is just a silage compactor. Which we don't need. Actually, we've got some buildings we can sell off that we don't need. Because we don't need the uh, we don't need the silage clamp we've got, so that can go. Subscribe, thank you, Splinters. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the VFN. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's being really slow. The um, the activity stuff. So I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Stream Elements is running a little bit behind. And if we don't use it for corporate contracting, we might use it for um, for the multiplayer. So I stream on, uh, I stream here on YouTube every Saturday. I stream on Twitch every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Do I like FS Minor? I, I don't know FS Minor, to be honest. Can I drive slower so we be here for longer? I, yeah, I, I do need to get to bed. <laughs> I've got to get my children up for swimming tomorrow. They got their swimming lesson in the morning, so I need to go and uh, deal with that. This does seem to be a fairly good angle to do this field at, though. A little bit up and down the slope, but you kind of can't avoid that, I don't think. Oh, we made a bobcat. Okay, cool. Uh, who else made a bobcat? Um, oh, I'm trying to remember the modding group. Is it Vertex Design made a, a bobcat? I think. Uh, skid steer, if I remember correctly. Whoa, too far. Don't have Twitch, but now I'm considering signing up there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so and I try and publish videos every day. I haven't succeeded at that this week. Uh, I will be trying to publish a video every day next week here on YouTube. Uh, I want to catch up. I want to get more videos out. So. Get 
these last two strips. Team. Yeah, it might be arm team. No. production building i'm gonna try to uh we, we we don't have a lot of money at the moment so we can't really right now but uh yeah i want to very much we might put some bees in between these two fields as well actually there's a few bits and pieces i want to do but i think this is going to be a very animal focused farm this one live in island in cork and move livestock Oh, wow. Cool, Rock Agri. Hey, Taz. Welcome along. How you doing? Picking stones out to my brand new field. Uh, will I be doing realism experiment once tonight's map comes out? Yes. Uh, likely Matt at the moment is Carmston uh, to do the realism experiment on. It's looking like a great map and it's looking like a great single player map. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, very interested in doing the realism experiment on Carmston and we'll see where we uh, see where we go from there. Could be better. Oh, I hope you feel. I hope your day picks up, um, Taz. Too bad you explored. <laughs> Thank you, Deke. Yeah. This is Animal Farm. Uh, need to stop for a moment. Need drink. Um... <laughs> oh. I don't want to spill any, but filling it up between my legs like that is not good. Right, there we go. Matty Ferguson's a class. We do have a Matty on here. We've got an ATS. Uh, we've got an ATS. Uh, we've got this large Deutz. We've got an electric tractor. And we've got a very old Porsche on here. And actually, those four tractors are going to do us very well on here. I eventually want to get another field. I'm not exactly 100% sure where I'm going to get another field. But we'll see how much money we make. Ah... Uh, when and where UK time is the next live stream? The next live stream will be tomorrow on Twitch at midday. Midday UK time, 12 p.m. is the next stream. Um, I've got no, uh, there's there's no stream tomorrow night on Twitch. I'm doing something uh, Christmas related with my children. Uh, so um, yeah. 
uh, tomorrow uh, tomorrow lunchtime on Twitch is the next live stream. Uh, and I'll be doing, uh, I'll be continuing my work on my farm on Elm Creek. Bye, Robin. Catch you later. Make it the whole way around that turn. So we'll leave a row and then clean up. Like so. I uh, should do Dairy Man's Diary on Carmson, but that's simulation for the Nation series. Can't nick Sim's idea. Uh, realism experiment, definitely what I'm going to uh, do on, uh, well, almost definitely what I'm going to do on Carmston. It's going to be a cracking map for that. How full are we? 93%. We're gonna have to go and empty this before we uh, before we go much further. But that's right. I'm gonna create a little pile of stones in the yard because it's not worth immediately going to sell these. we go we're full oh we got a rock here we can go and put this pile of rocks here It's not a huge pile of rocks. <laughs> oh. Toilet, uh, yeah. Actually, I might do that as well. I love that. How how gorgeous is this game? I look at that.
Oh, yeah, I did put a pile of rocks by the press. Thank you. I will move those in a minute. Yes, I did put a pile of rock by the pressure washer, didn't I? Thank you for that. Uh, no fielding. I converted it myself. Uh, that's, that's, I did, uh, I did my own conversion, which means I can't release it because it's not mine. I couldn't live without that mod, so, uh, yeah, I went and learnt a little bit of, uh, Lua scripting and, uh, and had a play around. This piece of equipment is rock solid. <laughs> I actually want to get in contact with the uh, the modder and see if I can uh, see if I can release my convert. Um, I want to do it up a bit. I want to add some uh, some extra uh, some FS22 bits to it, but um, yeah. How hard is it to convert mods and scripts? Could I do tutorial how to do it as well? Uh, it depends on the mod and the script uh, farming for the nation and depends on how deep you want to go into it Some mods are as easy to convert as just changing the version number um, Whereas other mods uh, like the uh, the photo mode uh, Mod there I had to go in uh, I had to pick apart the Lua script and uh, and rebuild it to make it work with the new game engine so Until official one gets done. Not officially fielding. It's finish. Oh, nice. It's doing a cracking job on this field. nice things about uh, seasonal growth on here is you get the time to work the fields uh, and to uh, and to do the work you need to, to get the yields up and to protect your equipment and things so uh, yeah having a rock picker uh, you know going over your fields with a rock picker is something you can do because you have time to do it uh, between growth which is which is great I absolutely love that Welcome along. There we go. Perfect. That has destoned that field very nicely. Oh, no. 
I didn't get the last bit. Evening, David Williams. Welcome along. And... Field is done. Yeah, I know. I'm... Uh, the, it's a very limited selection. Um, uh, in the... That uh, Teespring does on phone cases. I don't think my, my S21 is uh, is covered by it either unfortunately right we need we've got a pile of rocks over here apparently where do we put that pile of rocks ah there it is how many days per month am i running uh two so uh yeah two days per month uh so basically i'm doing six day seasons at five times which is what I normally run. Uh, for my uh, series, I'm doing uh, three-day seasons at... Uh, sorry, three-day months, but at ten times. Am I doing cows soon in FS? Uh, I'm already doing cows in FS32. We got them on here. Right there. This is, this is my dairy farm. That is my uh, hay bales, but yeah. Health 84%, so they're actually doing better now. How much milk do we have? 4,600 liters. Yeah, doing much better now, which is great. Um, yeah. Reproduction isn't very much, but that's fine. They're all worth about the same. Right, we do need to go and move these stones before we finish. Hello, Dylan Judd. Welcome along. Did I see the quickie on Mod Hub? No. Wow, look at the size of that little bucket. That's because we had a much smaller tractor before. Yeah, we got a little bit more over here. Stab potatoes haven't got any love in F-22, clean sorting. Uh, I, Autumn Jack, I'm right there with you. I am looking forward to seeing what uh, some modders come up with production chain-wise for potatoes, though. I'm hoping we get a potato sorter and uh, a, a washer and things like that. Um, they exist in 19. Uh, I think someone will convert over and, uh, and hopefully build them into the production chains in FS22. Uh, that would be good. Any more? Uh, yeah, looks like we've got a whole load more. There we go. Thousand liters of stones is going to be pretty heavy, actually. There we go. There's our pile of... That's our pile of stones. Ah, hey, Kurt, Kurt. Uh, how come in Elm Creek none of your crops grow even though I've skipped an entire year? That's a little bit weird, Liam. A uh, crisp factory would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Sunflower oil takes a... That's awesome, Scott. 
I love that idea. Crisp factory. This is the thing. Modders can put these in. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping we do get this kind of thing in. A crisp factory that takes sunflower oil and, uh, and potatoes. Yes, please. Absolutely. Uh, what's vinegar made out of? I could take stones for rock salt and... Um, <laughs> you could put... Yeah, possibly put stones for rock salt in there. And... Um, oh, there's so much you could do with the crisp factory. Yeah, there's a massive amount you could do with the crisp factory. Right, let's return this piece of kit. Yeah, uh, return that because we've done our two fields. And that actually... Have our cows taken all of our grass? So they have, yes. We'll just plonk a couple of grass bales on that. Oh, uh, sorry. A glute... No. I know where you're going, Ro, with that. No. No glue factory. I get those two off the back. Yeah, there's so many things you could do uh, with stones. Uh, there's already a mod out there that produces lime from stones, which is pretty cool. The the stone. Uh, uh, wow, well, do I have it enabled on here? I don't know if I do. No, I don't have it enabled on here. Keep our cows fed. And done. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going somewhere else with that. Made from alcohol, so we probably won't see that. Well, yeah, so barley. Yeah, but it's made from barley. Vinegar is made from barley. You're not making alcohol, you're making thing. Hello, gamer boy. One, two, three, five. Uh, subscribe. Welcome along. Right, I think that's our cow sorted. Uh, one thing I want to do is: Does this actually have anything? I don't think this actually has anything. Silo is empty. Yeah, this isn't actually generating any slurry because. That's the vehicle workshop. Uh, because our cows aren't actually generating any slurry. Because we've got the wrong... It's the wrong type of silo. So, yeah, it's the wrong type of silo. So, if we want... Uh, we probably want to get rid of... This silo, I think. Because it's not actually doing anything. So, uh, let's come into here. Construction. Get it. Whoa. So, I want to demolish this and this. 12,000 for that. So, we'll sell that. Yes, because we're not using the bunker. And we'll sell this as well. Uh, 32,000 for the liquid manure tank. Yes. I put, uh, cool, thank you, John. Do I have no change the width of the front loader pallet fork? Um, 
Yes, it'll be a. Um, uh, are you on console or? Yeah. Uh, it will, but so this is the thing. I'm going to cover this. So this liquid manure tank won't fill with slurry from that. You have to. So it's the wrong one. What you want is, so rather than silos, which is where that comes from, you want silo extensions, which is where it is. So if you put the silo extension in instead, that produces slurry. Uh, I don't have enough money for it, so... Uh, I'm not going to, but yeah. That's, that's what you want. I wish I'd done that, actually before we reseeded all this grass because i would have extended my grass field out this way as well because look at how much more grass field i can add so i need to do that i need to extend the grass field out that way as well uh so that's a job to do um yeah i want to oh, i might put the slurry tank back in but i i don't have the extension yeah, extinct. So that there, it says tanks lords, but yeah, you need you need a silo extension near your uh, near your cows to do it. And there's no real, but yeah, so that would be where it works. And I think, I think you have to put that. Yeah, it's weird. Not sure how that would best work. Because people have found that with this. Yeah, it's this has got a, a, a refill bit. But it doesn't fill with... Uh, uh, it doesn't fill with slur. There, sorry. But platable on that nice flat line. Yeah, well, what I was thinking is... We can put... A greenhouse... 10,000 gets us a nice big greenhouse that we can put on here. In fact, we can put a couple of greenhouses on here if we wanted. Like so. Like that, you see? Um, but I think that might be something to look at next time. When we expand the land a little bit. Uh, for now, though, uh, I'm going to leave this here. So I'm going to save this. Because it is 11 o'clock. All right. And then I'm going to forward through the night to 7 a.m. the next morning. The life that pen wouldn't give slurry. It has no shed. That's true. And it, that may be an issue with it. So, uh, yeah. I need to play with the animals more. Wow. We need to get this to some daylight, I think. Or we'll just start from here next time. So let's save that. There we go. And pause. And we'll head back out to... Don't they? Don't you have to place a manure bunker extension next to the bar? I, I may be confusing things, but anyway, we didn't need that slurry tank. It wasn't doing anything. It wasn't filling. It, it, it basically it wasn't working. So yeah. Uh, right, I am going to be here tonight. Uh, as I said, I will be back on uh, Twitch tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at midday. Uh, please come and join me over there for that. Um, I uh, will also hopefully have a video out here on YouTube um, at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, oh, Pallet Fork. Uh, yeah, it's... So I know what it is on my controller. It's basically... If you bring up F11, uh, Lobito, uh, if you select the Pallet Fork and bring up uh, the help menu... 
Uh, it will show you how to do it. Um, if you join me on Twitch tomorrow, I have been doing it on there. So um, I, will, I, will, I will demonstrate it there. I might try and demonstrate it in a video if I can as well. Um, I'm going to leave it here though tonight because it is 11 o'clock and I do need to finish. So um, really all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.